Welcome to the CoolEd tutorial video for Olympus CellSense. Following the release of the latest version of CellSense, version 2.3, the CoolEd P300 series and P4000 are now fully integrated into the software. In this tutorial video, we'll show you how to install and set up your light source. First of all, you need to ensure that you have the CoolEd drivers. These can be downloaded from the CoolEd website. Head to Support, and then Imaging Software. Then click on the CoolEd PE driver. Download and save the file to somewhere memorable, such as your desktop. Once downloaded, you will then need to unzip the files. Right click and then select Extract All. You are now ready to plug in your light source. Once connected, you will then have to head to Device Manager. You can see here under other devices where the light source has been plugged in. However, it has not been directed to the correct drivers. In order to correct this, right click and then select Update Driver. You then want to browse the computer for the driver software and then direct it to the position on the desktop where you save the CoolEd driver. Then click Next, and it will begin to install the drivers. You can now see that the CoolEd device is listed. Repeat this process for serial port B. The device is now installed and ready to go. If you do not already have CellSense downloaded, you can head to the Olympus website for instructions on how to do so. If you already have CellSense installed and you have been using it, this will be the same instructions as for installing CellSense for the first time. However, when you are following the protocol, ensure to click Modify Setup rather than Installing CellSense. Head to the CellSense Setup folder and select Setup. If installing the software for the first time, you will then have to enter your license key. Then select the version of CellSense that you wish to download. Select the solutions as required for your application. You'll then need to read the license agreement and accept the terms. Then follow the instructions in the dialog box. Here you'll be able to select your imaging source. We will be using a simulated camera. In the next window, select your microscope controller. Again, we will be using a manual microscope. Here is where you select your microscope accessories. This is where you will need to select CoolEd and then the light source which you will be using. If you're likely to be using more than one light source, you can select all of them. This will not cause you any problems. Then complete the installation. You can then finish the installation.
CellSense is now downloaded and ready to go. First of all, select your camera, in our case, Camera Simulator 1 and Microscope. In our case, we'll be using a manual microscope. If you're using CellSense for the first time, the software will automatically guide you through a setup procedure. However, if you haven't used CellSense before, you can open device list from the start page. First of all, select your camera. You can then select your microscope. And it's in reflected life, light path where you select the light source. Under lamp, select the appropriate light source in our case, the CoolEd P4000. Under filter wheel, select device not used. And under shutter, select CoolEd P4000 virtual shutter. If you are using a different light source, you can select the appropriate shutter. If required, you can also add your transmitted light path and your simulators. Then select OK. Device settings will then open. This is where you can check that your light source has successfully been installed under fluorescence slash reflected. You can then move on to device customization. It is in this window where you can set up the different channels needed for your experiment. For example, Dappy, Fitzy and Tripsy. To add your first channel, click here for a new observation method and type in the name that you require for that channel. For example, DAPI. Then select the cool LED light source and change the status to adjust to enable you to edit the LED settings. You can use the drop down menu to select the LED that you require for each of the P4000 channels. In this case, we will use the 385 LED for DAPI. We will set the intensity to 14%. Then select the virtual shutter and set the status as use for acquisition. This will ensure that the LED is only illuminating during acquisition or when the camera is switched on. In order to add another channel, you can then select copy observation method. You can now add your second channel, for example, Fitzy. Then repeat the steps as we've previously done for DAPI. You can turn off the DAPI LED by clicking on the box to the left of the drop down selection. Then select the LED that you require for Fitzy by clicking this box and then selecting the LED wavelength that you require. Again you can adjust the intensity. Select the virtual shutter to ensure that use for acquisition is still selected. You can then select OK and Yes to confirm the setup of these two channels. If you want to turn on fluorescence without starting an experiment or acquiring an image, you can head over to the right hand panel and select microscope control. Under device units, you can then select the LED that you wish to turn on for each channel and turn it on by clicking to the, on the box to the left. You can then adjust intensity with this slider. Ensure that the shutter is open to turn the LED on. You are now ready to begin configuring an experiment. Head to the experiment manager and then select new. Here you can add in your pre-configured channels. For this experiment, we will image Daffy and Fitzy. Select the channel and you can then adjust the exposure time. 
and then add a time lapse loop by dragging the box around the two channels. You can adjust the number of cycles in the right hand panel and adjust the in interval between the cycles. In this case, we will be imaging as fast as possible. Then click start and your experiment will begin. And now you're ready to go. Thank you for watching this Cool Ed tutorial video. For further help, please get in touch.